Temperature explains the activity of geyser Yellowstone in the past and future. The hydrothermal feature selected in the Yellowstone National Park has data recording that records the time of the geyser eruption. The systematic analysis of this data can reveal the variation of geysers' activity from time to time and between different geysers' basins. Since 1994, the Yellowstone Geological Program has maintained a series of temperature data recordings throughout the geothermal area in the Yellowstone National Park. This is partly encouraged by the federal responsibility to monitor the Yellowstone geothermal system, as well as the desire to create a database that will help understand geyser activity better. Until the end of 2021, the Yellowstone Geological Program had mobilized 64 temperature recordings. This logger records temperatures with one-minute interval, similar to the radio telemeter sensor network in Norris Geyser Basin. The main purpose behind this effort is to monitor changes in hydrothermal activity both caused by nature and by humans. Each hydrothermal feature presents unique data collection and challenges about how to analyze them. Predicted geyser with frequent eruptions, such as Old Faithful, produces data that resembles cardiograms. Just like how different people can have very different heartbeat data, temperature data from various geysers that can be predicted can be very different from each other. As a result, it is difficult to conduct one measure statistical analysis for all on all geyser data. Applying statistical analysis on temperature recording data is not new. For example, Yellowstone Resource and Youth Programs do this every day on a predicted geyser at Upper Geyser Basin to tell visitors when certain features can erupt. A sign near Daisy Geyser, for example, might show that he will go out in the next hour, plus or minus 20 minutes, not because there are always people who watch this geyser and track their last eruption, but because of park employees. Utilizing data from temperature recording and making projections for the next eruption based on their past data. With this approach, researchers use temperature and seismic data to understand how and why geyser eruption activity can change over time. For example, Scientists from Utah University and Yellowstone National Park demonstrated that geyser activity can be changed by large-powered earthquakes, despite its far location. In 2002, an earthquake 7.9 in Alaska caused shortening the eruption interval in several geyser in the geyser basin over more than 30 minutes. These features take more than two months to return to the previous eruption interval, so the changes are temporary. For another example, USGS scientists, Stanford University, and Yellowstone National Park associated changes caused by climate with the activity of the geyser eruption, showing a correlation in the average geyser eruption interval and river discharge for years. And this is only for predicted geysers. Most of the geysers in the park are unpredictable, but by monitoring the interval of the eruption for a long time, it is possible to distinguish some patterns or responses to earthquakes or climate conditions. This might help us better understand how and why this geyser erupts and how it is the difference from geyser that is more easily predicted.